This video is sponsored by Streamlabs, a Logitech company. Miguel from Grumo here, and this week I want to introduce you to a new video collaboration tool called Oslo, which I think is a fantastic tool for video producers or YouTube creators that want to collaborate on video. So let's say that you have an editor and you want to collaborate on that video on the cloud, then Oslo is for you. Or if you have clients and you want your clients to review your video and give you feedback, then Oslo is a great tool. And now let me show you how it works. So now we're inside Oslo and the first thing you want to do is create a project. We're going to create a project, demo, click, click create. And now we can start uploading our video. So upload, let's select a couple of files here and you can select a combination of video and images. All right, so our two files are uploaded and we can watch them. Just double click on any of them. This is a still image and then you could start adding comments and annotate it. And if we go back, we can do the same with the video. Of course, the video, you can play it back. All right, and you can enter comments at any given moment. Comment one, just click enter and the comment will appear there. Or I can enter a second comment here. Comment zero two, send, and the comment appears here. All right, and we can see them here, resolve them or reply. Uh, let's resolve that one, let's uh, delete this one. And we can also do something really neat, which is to annotate our video. Let's say, oh, this image is blurry. So you just click on the brush tool here and select a color and then you can uh, make an annotation there. And then you can say blurry fix and then click send. And now when the editor clicks there, they'll be able to see that there is an annotation. And this is how you could collaborate. And once you're done, you could change the status to uh, ready to publish. And then you could click on publish and it would publish to YouTube. Now, how do you collaborate with people? Well, the first thing you have to do is invite your editor to upload files or to download the files that you uploaded for uh, them to edit. And the way you can do that, if you want them to upload files, is you create a file request and it basically says, need something from someone, request file from anyone, whether they have an Oslo account or not. So they don't need to have an Oslo account, your editors, in order to upload files. And you just click on new request. And then you can say uh, whether they require authentication or not. And let's say that they don't, and an expiration link and a passphrase. And there you go. Now you just copy the link. And now I'm going to pretend I'm the editor and I got this link I, uh, by email or something like that. And I'm pretending to be the editor and I get this window where I can upload files, right? So I can upload a file now. Let's say I want to upload this file. All right. So in theory, what should happen is that now as the content creator, the YouTuber that is hiring this editor should get a new file. Also, you can control the file requests and you can make them active or inactive. So let's say now, okay, now the file is uploaded. This link doesn't have to be public anymore. I can deactivate it. Uh, or delete it as well. And now I should go, I go to files and there should be a new file. There you go. This is the file that the editor uh, uploaded. And now I could review it as well. And I could enter uh, messages. Let me, let me just go to any part of the video and enter a comment. Okay, so there's a comment there and we can draw as well too again. And let's pick a different color now. And, and say, oh, what a handsome person. Can you make him even handsome her? Is that even possible? I want you to try. Huh? Okay, please try now. Okay, so I click send. And if you want this annotation to last longer, just drag this and the annotation will last a little bit longer. Okay. All right, so at this point, your editor is not seeing the comments, the feedback. So you have to invite the editor. Just click on invite and enter the editor's email. Click invite and then set the permissions. It could be either administrator, editor, viewer, or limited editor. In this case, we want the editor to be able to delete their own files in a project and create and review links for assets. So that sounds good. Then they will get an email with the notification to join the project and they'll be able to see the feedback and apply it and then upload the new version. And then if it's good, you can click publish and 
take over the world and get millions of subscribers, right? So let's go back and let's say that this uh, was the new version that the editor uploaded. You can create versions of the same video. Let's pretend the editor listened carefully and implemented all your feedback. Now he or she is going to upload the new version and what you can do is, this is really cool, you can drag the new version onto the old version and it's going to merge them. And when you click on them, you will be able to see the two versions in one file and you can compare them. So this is the original version with the comments and this is the new version, version two, uploaded by the editor. And here you can also start adding more comments and say, oh, you know what? Let me look at this. Did you make me look more amazing and beautiful? Yes, you did. So resolved. Great, and now I can delete it and that's taken care of. Uh, but maybe I go here and I see something and I'm like, oh no, uh, you need to do something here or here or here or here. And then you go on back and forth, back and forth until hopefully you don't go beyond the deadline and you get the amazing video that you want to. You can set the status to ready to publish. Let's say that you have a lot of people working on the same video. So you want to make sure every is notified of the different status of your project. And then when you're ready to go, just click publish and Bob is your uncle. But let's say you're a producer and you're working with an editor, but also with a client and you need the approval of the client. So now there's gonna be two rounds of feedback which editors really hate. So to share your work with the client, you go to the project and then you click here and click on share. And then you can give a link a name, let's say client and copy the link and you would share this with your client and now the client can open the link. Let's just pretend that I'm the client. Huh, let's see what these guys did. All the money that I spent with these dudes. Did they do an amazing job? And I'm like, oh no, please fix this. Okay, so let's pretend, fix this, fix this, send. And now it's gonna ask me to enter my name and I'm gonna say client. And now I know that the client entered this and maybe another Annotation here, send, all right, and a little message. Good work here, send, perfect. And I also could download the video if I wanted to. Of course, hopefully, I only allow them to download the video once they paid for the video. Uh, so make sure you get the money before you send the video. But okay, let's go back to the video and I could see what the client has written. And okay, oh, there's two comments from client. Good work here and uh, uh, some annotations, some uh, scribbles here. Okay, well, let me resolve this and resolve this. And with the feedback is addressed by your editor, your editor would upload the new version and then you would share that with the client again until the project looks fantastic. Now, if you happen to be collaborating in real time, Oslo allows you to chat with the client or with whoever is invited to the project in real time through the chat, which is great for real time collaboration. If you have an important message, you can also pin it if you needed to. You could pin it there and that will appear on the right hand side. And then people maybe it's like, okay, you know, just work on this project today. This is the most important project for the day. Make sure you work on it or, or any important notifications you wanna keep there. And then you can also, under review links, you can keep track of all the links you've shared with your clients. And once you're done sharing them, you can either make them inactive or you can allow downloads. Let's say that you didn't allow downloads because you didn't get paid yet. And now they are approved it. And all you have to do is click allow download and now the link will allow them to download the video and the project is completed and everybody's happy. So that's a quick overview of what's possible with Oslo. I think it's a great collaboration tool for people that work in video, whether you are an independent producer working with clients or a YouTuber that is working with an editor remotely, everybody can collaborate in this platform and it works really well. You can organize files really well. You can create multiple projects. So let's say that this project was completed. Now I can create a new project and start all over again. So I'm happy with it. The free plan gives you up to five gigabytes of storage, one collaborator. So if you're an independent YouTuber with an editor, that would be enough. Unlimited uploads for $12 a month. You can get up to 200 gigabytes of storage, up to three collaborators, unlimited uploads support. And then for $25 a month, one terabyte of storage, unlimited collaborators, unlimited uploads and VIP support. So I think it's very affordable and you get plenty of storage to work on several projects at the same time for a small fee and I uh, highly recommend it. Now I do edit all my videos myself, so I don't need this tool right now, but as soon as this channel becomes humongous, then I'll have plenty of editors and Oslo will be a fantastic tool to use.
To get started, just go to oslo.io, open your free account and start collaborating with your editors. And if you want to learn how I produce these YouTube videos in much detail, click here where I have a full tutorial where I explain in much detail all the steps that I follow to create videos for this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.